Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today here I am explaining my financial habits that changed my lives completely and I am sure truly it will change yours too. Make sure to watch the video until the very end to get a free printable PDF to track your finances which will be very helpful for your monthly financial planning. So without having further delay, let's begin. One of the first steps we made towards financial freedom was to create a budget. Our new budget was merely the beginning of a series of positive changes. In fact, I made a lot of changes within the short time frame. Our spending habits are deeply cemented into our daily routine. And the act of spending also includes an emotional aspect that is difficult to detach from. In addition to drastically cutting our spending, we gradually changed many of our destructive habits as well. Writing down all my expenses, setting goals and assigning amount to each on the first of every month made me spend my money more mindfully. Planning my savings and transferring at the start itself also helped me to save for my future and the short term goals I have. This also helped me to clear out my loans and live a debt free life. I am convinced now that the fact that new habits I adopted completely transformed my financial future. After setting up the budget which is a monthly plan for spending that takes into account our income and expenses, tracking expenses is essential to keeping us on that budget. Monitoring expenses throughout the month holds us to accountable for our finances in a few key ways. I usually write down all my expenses in my notebook as I love this old school method. But you can use apps if you want to do so. I even write weekly my online expenses that I had made to buy something using my credit or debit card for that week. Writing down each penny spent and tracking online expenses help us to maintain the budget we have set and achieve the goal that is planned. Tracking expenses involves identifying expenditure throughout the month. It's an essential activity that we all should ideally do every day or week throughout the month. Okay, so I have a free printable PDF attached in the description box below to track your daily expenses and it will make sure to spend your money more mindfully. After budgeting and clearing out all debts, I knew how much amount is left in my hand at the end of the month. Once I had little money to play with, I started to plan my investment. After knowing there are so many different options out there, from stocks and bonds to real estate and money market accounts, I have chose to invest in mutual funds. Investing in a mutual fund is a good way to avoid some of the complicated decision making involved in investing in stocks. While there are plethora of investment options, a mutual fund can offer a simple efficient way to invest for retirement, education or other financial goals that really help me to transfer my financial future. I have started checking online about it and tried to find out where I can invest in. Checking out different options and their performance online and talking with the assigned manager helped me to take my decision on investing my money on it. Next an important thing here I have opted is minimalistic spending. In order to see significant result in the saving, it is important to stay committed in asking the right question before making any non-essential purchases. This is the best and biggest lesson I have learned through minimalism process. Here are some tips I had implemented to ensure that to spend more mindfully. Leave the item for 24 hours in the cart. This highlights whether you genuinely want or need it. If you are still thinking about the item the next day and you can afford it, then can make the purchase. You will feel a greater sense of satisfaction about your decision. Next tip here is 
Don't let blowout sale tempt you. I used to be a sucker for big sales, but that often meant spending money on items I knew I would not use. So for each item that you have in your basket during a sale, ask yourself whether you would buy it if it were full price. Change the environments that cause you to spend. If you notice that you often spend money after clicking on a marketing email or scrolling through the shopping apps in your mobile out of boredom, then just delete the apps from your mobile or unsubscribe from that email. And whenever you actually need it, you can open in your laptop and do the purchase. Or seeing pictures of an Instagram influencer wearing a particular brand, for example, then unsubscribe or unfollow. Or if you buy clothes or makeup when you have time to kill, try using that time to do another activity instead, such as taking a walk in the park. These processes will make you to save lot of money which will you will spend out of boredom or just to killing a time and make you intact with your budget too. Credit card debt is unconstructed debt and can wreak havoc on finances. Earlier having more than one credit card making me impulse purchase more and more. So using cash wherever possible and limiting my credit card helped me to stop my impulse buying. These are the steps which really helped me to limit my credit card use. First, keeping one credit card or max two. Second, having less limit on the credit card. Carrying cash while shopping and trying not to use more than 50% of the total credit limit. Educating myself on financial intelligence has helped me to resolve the financial issues I had and taking some smart decision for my future and also staying updated on the financial aspects. Reading finance Books and catching up with economic times is the one thing I prefer in my life on a regular basis nowadays. I have realized that financial literacy is the essential skill we all must develop if our goal is to build wealth and enjoy financial security and there is no alternative to it. That's all about today's video guys. Make sure to download the PDF and stick it in iFront area to make most use of it. The link is in the description box below. And if you find this video useful, give me a thumbs up and comment below and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification button. I will see you all in my next video. Until then, bye bye.